What's going on, Lovely Squad? It's Miss Milky Way here, and we are back with another Katie Keen reaction. Honestly, with everything going on, I totally forgot Katie Keen aired last week, so <laughs> forgive me. Um, but anyways, before we jump straight into things, make sure you are following me on my social media platforms at Miss Milky Way. That is on Instagram and Twitter as well, even though I don't post on Twitter. Bye! Yes, I'll put the links down below in the description box and um, if you missed last week's reaction for Katie Keen I'll put it up here as well for you to go see um, That was the episode where it was Josie's listening party Alice was acting a fool um, Jorge and the vol de vol was doing the vol de vol and uh, What else happened? Pepper That girl ran upon Pepper and Pepper's home y'all it was another great episode of Katie King, so if you missed it, go ahead and check out my reaction. Oh, also, thanks to Matthew B. Haynes for helping me set up another setup for me um, to record. Without further ado, we just gonna jump straight into this reaction. My friend Jorge Lopez was working on his production of Kiss of the Spider Woman, the musical. Meanwhile, I was caught in a web of guilt and darkness of my own creation. Oh, Katie. yes, this! I forgot this happened. Can I to speak when a dignitary asks you a question? You. No. <gasps> oh. What do you mean? Why not? This is your dream. Mm. Every designer in the world would murder for this chance. Yes, experienced. Oh! Bro? I can't. Wait to turn this fantastical arachnid dream of yours into a real deal. Dang. Look at you with my direction. Why oh. don't we host a presentation at the pepper plant to woo investors? While the audience collect the checks. Brilliant. Just where to start. No. Oh. <laughs> you said that after the listening party, I'd be turning down gigs, but so far, crickets. A scout from the Apollo is interested in booking you. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh, that is my dream! If Hawaii's amazing, count me in. Mm, yo, I just, okay. <laughs> She's so dramatic! Amanda said you had a migraine. Yeah, thanks to you. What is your reason? Oh god. And that's when I first saw her. My personal spider woman. Good for migraines. Fine, Katie, leave. Lack of ambition is only making it worse. I hope this here? is gonna be good. Supporting Jorge. Sandra got it for me as a thank you for working long hours. How have you been? Good. Oh. Really good. I um, got asked to design a wedding dress for Patricia. Part of me thought that somehow you would start dating him. <laughs> it's oh. crazy, right? Yeah. I hope this goes well. I, like my heart, I can't, I can't, I can't. You are, and I am warm and kind and gentle. Why don't you like me? I don't know. This girl better not ruin this. This was a big production. Conceptually, yes. No. You part my lips and rest yours there. You'll run your finger. Kiss oh, me no. and you will no. kiss me. Dang. Okay, hi. They tried. They said that it was too late to back out, that the scandal would ruin us. I want to be with you. Oh. And if you feel the same way, Katie, I'll call off the wedding. What? No, Eric, no, they, uh, it was a fling. About the prince? Oh, the dress, or, or both. both. <laughs> I'm obviously not running away with Errol, am I? Katie, I don't want to alarm you. What? Oh, no, nah. oh, no. Nah. Oh, my God, get it off, get it off, get it off. No, don't kill it, it's a good omen. <laughs> what do you mean? So, you want to take a big swing? Fine. I'll invest in your musical on one condition. Alex wants Josie to play the Spider Woman. Wow, that boy is whipped. Well, he's all Josie McCoy as the <laughs> Spider Woman. Oh, Pepper! Hell no! I'm playing 
the Spider Woman. I mean, the whole point of this show is to give Ginger the spotlight. And Ginger's name up in lights. <laughs> oh my God, no. I slept with him, but I thought that he had ended it with Patricia. I couldn't live with myself if my entire career was built around her wedding dress. Not for Patricia, for Lacey's. And for yourself. Mm -hmm. Eh. I can't do that to Jorge. Well, he's going to lose the show anyway without Alex's money, so technically you'd be doing him a huge favor. That way, she'll be the one letting you down easy. If I can't deliver a purposefully bad design, Jorge, Gloria will strangle me with a veil. And dressing them up. I love the dressing them up. The subtle tilt of a hat. Touches like that make me the best of the lot. I was the creme de la creme as I adjusted each hem. I kept on dazzling them. My you need to be careful, Jorge. No more walking in the street alone at night. Would you be ashamed of me? I have never been ashamed of you. Not once. You're my son. You could never show Oh, my God. I don't know if I can do another song. Many things confuse me. Maybe one day you can tell him about Ginger, and I will be right there with you. Tried going bigger, but nothing felt right. I... Oh, my God. Green for this. <laughs> so if you want to switch to a more established designer, which makes total sense, I will completely understand. Try again. And for me, I know that you can get this right. And then this is... Oh, my God. So here's what I need you to do. <laughs> You're brilliant. Teach me everything. Oh, Dee Dee. Where to begin? No. <laughs> You've got to learn. I'm so confused. Here we go. For real this time. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. oh. Wait, where the hell did you come from? Cupid couriers, flower delivery. I just don't think I can live with the guilt. Oh, you don't think you could live with the guilt? Bravo! You're a star! Oh. Oh. Is she gonna chop it up? Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. I wouldn't want to walk down the aisle in a dress made by someone that my husband-to-be had feelings for. For this abomination to torpedo your career and the prince. I know it's hard to believe, but yet here we are. Oh, I may come to you for advice, Guy. I need to ask you for a favor. Can't you just let me do my thing as Spider-Woman? Oh. Because. Ooh. That is gorgeous. Katie, it's, it's gorgeous. So Guy designed that dress. I God, Katie, leave a man waiting. <laughs> what did Patty Cake say? She loved it. Sooner or later in sunlight or bloom, when the red candles flicker, she'll walk in the room. Rose dimmer at the tide's low web, and her black begging to move, but you're caught in the web of um, the spider woman. So much like faces going on right now. My son's a star. And she said he wasn't gonna be ready. You can change out of your costume and, and take the makeup off. Oh! The show's over now. Oh! oh as far as I'm concerned, you never have to change. What? <laughs> so I was just thinking. I'm interested. Very much so. <laughs> okay. Something's okay. gonna happen. Favorite number. Hmm. But most of all, I'm glad uh, I got to share tonight with Josie. Oh, my family. Jorge's gonna get beat up. Jorge's gonna get beat up. So much going on for the camp! Okay, relax. Yo, the fire, like, raise up! Oh my god, I knew it! Alright, y'all getting beat up. I just cannot. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. 
you foresee a problem prioritizing this job over whatever drama you may hypothetically be experiencing? No, I pride myself on keeping my personal life and work life separate. Clearly. Katie Keen, new episode next Thursday at 8, 7 central, only on The CW. All right, y'all, um, let's talk about this um, episode. So, I don't know, the episode was kind of underwhelming to me. I don't know, like, it was a lot of singing. Um, personally, I don't know Kiss of the Spider-Woman. Um, hold on, before I start talking stupid let me see if this is an actual musical. Okay, yeah, so apparently Kiss of the Spider-Woman Spider is an actual, um, I think it was a movie. It was a movie. Um, yeah, kind of confusing. It's kind of, I was trying to get the concept of the thing, because then Katie was seeing her Spider-Woman, and then I... It was confusing um but yeah the episode was kind of underwhelming um it was a lot of singing i felt like i was watching like a glee show or something um but katie king does like they have like a one like musical like sporadic thing but this time it was just like kind of it was just kind of like random moments dropped in here and there for me um i don't know anyway so we see um jorge trying to do this spider woman um thing for his show at molly's crisis and um francois and pepper is helping him out um pepper yo <laughs> pepper she is just a whole i don't even want to call her a con artist i don't want to but she just understands business and she knows how to get what she wants. Like she knows how to get what she wants and who to connect to and stuff. And this is what I like about what I did like about the episode though was that each friend needed each other for something. Like Pepper is the the business, the mastermind, I the connect. Like she's like the networking, I got you. Katie is the outfit, I got you with that. Josie is the music and Jorge is obviously the act. You know what I'm saying? So they all needed each other, which I love because you can see everyone just lending their hand and how the you know all of them being together makes sense um yeah so we see pepper doing what pepper does um that whole musical scene between her and dj i kind of felt like it was unnecessary like when i saw pepper start singing then jorge's mom was singing too i was just like i i guess all y'all just want to sing today francois all y'all was just singing the only person i didn't sing is gloria did gloria ever sing yet nah 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 Nah, but what? Like you would think I'm watching Zoe's extraordinary playlist. Like that's what it felt. That's what it felt like. Um. Anyway, so we see Pepper doing her thing, and then um, of course it led to Josie talking to Alex to have him, you know, fund the 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 thing, and then in turn um a scout or somebody came to see Josie sing so everybody was getting ben you know benefited from this night um then we see the battle of katie's decision like she done slept with prince prince told her oh i left um uh, patricia for you i want you i like you i want you like i i want you and katie what i love for katie like she is not going to um put morals aside or her integrity aside just for a name to be made or money or any or fame like that's what i love about her because gloria is all like oh just don't let this opportunity be, be lost over a man yes you're right but when this is gonna make katie come off as like she said i cannot live with this i have guilt i cannot live with this on my brain um she feels like she's betraying because patricia trusts katie with her whole heart now um i don't like <laughs> her and the prince the prince should have been told patricia like nah like i really don't like you anymore and so before you go and marry this girl you're, you're gonna break her heart even more so just tell her now before you have her go pick up this wedding dress half her thing she's getting into the royal family like come on now I, no because the prince don't even know what he wants so just oh no a hot mess but katie cannot tie herself up with that she made a mistake they both made a mistake but she's like nah like you need to go figure what you're doing she's not gonna go steal nobody's man that's not katie and she went and spoke to Guy Lamantugu, whatever the man name. Went to go speak to Guy, and um, he was able to make a dress. 
So um, that was cool. And then in the ending, Guy offered Katie to be his um, apprentice. Um, what else did we see? Jay -Z, Josie got that gig with the lady for the Apollo. Um, Jorge, oh my God. This, whole, this episode was more focused on Jorge. I feel like this show is kind of focused on Jorge more, more than anybody else. Jorge and Katie, obviously, but more Jorge, like, anyway. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. Jorge always gets the, the, the end of the, of the stick. He always just gets the, the, the last, the last pizza in the pizza box. I mean, we all want the last piece in the pizza. Okay, hold on. He always gets... <laughs> The last of everything. And then his dad was... Dad, what was his dad? He said, he said, oh, it's okay. You can go ahead and go and just change now. The show is over. I was like... But of course, Jorge's fireman stood up for him. Um, And then, of course, what the mama said about Jorge staying off of the street because, you know, um, they was getting beat up and stuff like that in the street. And I don't know, it kind of felt awkward and kind of like misplaced when he was walking down the street with the guy, um, the fireman, I forgot his name. They both walking down the street and you know something bad is going to happen and they were trying to create a nice romantic scene, but you know something bad was going to happen. It just felt... And then the pro, like the, the trade, the promos for the next episode be like, what? Like, give me something to work with. Y'all making me not want to watch the next episode. Like, come on. Give me something to work with. Because when you actually do watch the episode, it's good. But when you see the promo, you don't want to watch it. Like, it's so, like, I don't know. It was just underwhelming to me. Um, This episode just felt weird. It was just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, is there anything else I'm missing? Um, um, oh, Zandra and K.O., bro. Zandra's obviously looking for attention. She wants people to look at her. Hey, I'm Zandra Cabot. I'm walking in the building. I'm her. I'm her. You can't tell me nothing for nothing. Like, I'm her with my piece of little weird misplaced highlight flinging around in the, in the air. Like, it can just fly away. Like, it, I don't know what she's doing with K.O. She's obviously trying to... She's just... Ever since Josie came to town, she's clearly jealous because she missed her boo thing, Alex. It's not gonna happen. Get over it, Zandra. And she's trying to get into their friend group. Um, She's getting at K.O., buying K.O. stuff, making K.O. bodyguard. Now you want to go make him a whole model? And then apparently in the next episode, it's gonna be that... K, um, Katie is somehow getting in between K.O. and Zandra's mess. I don't know. Honestly, we'll just keep seeing where this show is going and what they have to offer. I think the one that's shown this week is the last one for the season. Let me see. That's the last one for right now. Oh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have liked this reaction, if you have liked this episode, let me know your thoughts down below. Um... Yeah, if you had liked this video, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also, come and join the Nova Squad. Hit the bell, hit the red subscribe button. Come and join this growing, flourishing family. I'll catch y'all in the next episode. Milky Way out.